Hi, and welcome. Today, we are going to talk about the basics of applied kinesiology. What is it? What does it do? Why do we use it? So when I first got really sick, my first main thing that brought me in was severe anxiety. It was severe panic attacks. And Lucy, my wonderful assistant today, is actually struggling with a lot of anxiety and a lot of panic attacks. That's her biggest complaint. It just so happened she was here on set with us today. So we're like, please, let us utilize you for the show. So here we are. And um, so applied kinesiology is, kinesiology is the study of movement, right? As you hear it in colleges, use a lot. Applied kinesiology is utilizing basically the study of movement, but the feedback from the body. It's a way of getting constant feedback. And when I was very sick, when I was in your shoes, but much, much worse, I was chronically fatigued. I couldn't close my hands and, and, and bend my feet. I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. I was so tired. I had fibromyalgia. I had chronic fatigue. Um, so many problems, right? I was going to all of the medical community, the medical doctors, the allopathic Western world. And I'm a big fan of that when you need, if you have a gunshot wound or a broken arm, please don't come see me or Lucy. Go to the hospital, get your broken arm fixed up, get the bullet wound mended. But it's like the same when you, when you are actually struggling with those types of things and you're going and the doctors are running the same tests. There's no test for anxiety, is there, right? There's no test for all of these things. It's all the symptoms, right? So a lot of doctors start to think, well, we need to give them an antidepressant or, or antidepressant pill or an anti-anxiety pill. But what I like to do is to actually try to get to the core and the underlining issue. So one of the ways to do that is looking at the same blood test that your medical community look at. That's very important. We need those tests. However, as a functional practitioner, these functional practitioners that are all over the United States and around the world now, they're running these tests, but they're running even more thorough tests. So a, a Typical medical doctor may run a TSH. We're going to run 13 tests around the thyroid. So it would be TSH and T3 and T4 and T3 free and T3 or and T4 free and antibodies and all these things. T3 uptake. All of these things give us more information. And when you are struggling with anxiety and feeling terrible, you want more information. In medicine, if there's no diagnosis, there's zero treatment. So the doctors are running these tests. They were seeing the same thing over and over and saying, you're okay. You must be a mental case. Here, take these drugs. I was a young man. I didn't know what else to do. So I took the drugs and I got overly period of time is my body was really struggling and it was bound up and it was not eliminating. It wasn't detoxifying. I had chronic viruses going on and um, I was really having issues methylating and clearing my liver. Methylation is one of the three ways that you detoxify the liver. So against my will, I went to somebody who uh, utilized applied kinesiology because I had a friend of mine say, please go, go see this man. He's going to help you. And I was like, okay. So I finally went in. I was desperate. I'd been struggling for a couple of years. I have videos online. You can learn about this story. I'd been really, really desperate. I went into this guy thinking, you know, what does this guy know? You know, and um, he completely changed my life in two weeks. And I dedicated my whole life from that moment on. I was 18 at that point when I was suddenly like, after years of being sick, being completely changed. Now, everybody's different. You know, the underlying cause for my anxiety is different than your underlying cause. You have female hormone cycles that I simply don't have. So we want to be specific to you as an individual. We want to run the right test. We want to want to do the right diagnostic. So in the office, what I do is I run the proper testing through blood and hormones and other types of evaluation. That's really important. That's the functional piece. When we get all of that expanded blood work back, now we're not looking at it just like a medical community's trained where if you're outside of these parameters, you're very, very sick. We're looking at it in a very functional range, so they're much tighter parameters. So if you walk like a chicken and cluck like a chicken, you're probably a chicken, you know? So we say, wow, you're just outside of uh, or just under what medical system says is unhealthy. Why don't we give you a little natural support? We don't ever have to diagnose or treat or cure your issue because that is not what it's about. We're gently allowing the body to function better. It's like a river. 
If you have lots of leaves collected around the rocks, you just move a stick or two and get the leaf moving. And before you know it, the whole river has dumped all the leaves. It's down the river and you're flowing again. It's just the natural flow of life. So one of the tools that I utilize in the office, it looks a little different. And that's when I saw this wonderful gentleman in San Antonio it changed my life. And I was like, oh my goodness, um, this looks really interesting. And I thought he was totally cuckoo. But he proved me very quickly like, it's not anything I'm doing to you. All I'm asking is questions. So that's where applied kinesiology comes in. You can test all the hundreds of muscles that are in the body. There's all types of muscle tests, and then there's many, many layers of types of muscle testing. And a good applied kinesiologist or muscle tester, and they need to be really good, and that's why they go through extra training. You, could, you can learn this online and do a really bad job of it because the way you perceive and the way you interact can actually interfere with the test. So if I'm like trying to prove something to you or sell you something, it's a very terrible way to try to use as a diagnostic tool. Now, when I say this as a diagnostic tool, it's one of the many tools I use. I don't just use blood. I don't just use hair or stool or hormone analysis. I don't care what gets you better. I want you better. You know what I mean? We're going to do everything we can because I don't want to be the next doctor that fails you. That's where I was at. I was desperate. And that's why I think I feel I uh, have a good heart for where you guys are at because I know when you're struggling, it is scary out there. So let me show you the basics, okay? And just remain teachable. The more you open up to what is not possible outside of your field, like, oh, this is crazy, or I heard one time this is crazy the more you're going to be able to be learning something that can help yourself or somebody you really love and care about because there's some great doctors out there. Whether you believe it or not, they're doing this day in and day out. I did it for 10 years with 40,000 patient visits, and I, I just know in my being, so I don't have to prove myself anymore. So elbow straight. I want you to hold this uh, arm for me, resist my pressure. So what we're doing is we're simply testing her anterior deltoid. Now we could check Hold there, don't let me move your arm, hold. That's middle deltoid. We turn the arm a little bit here, hold there. That's posterior deltoid. Turn the arm here, hold there for me. That's her subscapularis. Now, you can test the shoulder very quickly, right? Or the hips or the neck, all the associated muscles, right? I wanna show you this. Then you have myotome testing. And what we're gonna do is check L1 myotome. So hold your leg, don't let me move it. That's L1 myotome. Hold here. L2, myotome. L3, hold, 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 hold. And, and I'm going to really pull here. This is what your medical doctor, your neurologist will actually do to see if you have any weakness or if the neurological components of the nerves, the alpha motor neurons themselves that move the arms and the legs and stuff, if they're intact. If it weakens, then you know you have a very deficit myotome, right? You say, whoa, that's a really low myotome, and they do a medical procedure, and they see if that response improves. Applied kinesiology is not strictly a myotome test. It's a much more sensitive test, because I'm not pushing hard, right? Hold again. See a little pressure I'm using? It's about a pound. Now, you are an electrical being. I didn't make the rules, but someone, somehow, somewhere, when we got put on this earth, if you eat an apple or you eat a Twinkie, either way, you convert that into electrical function. So you actually create electrical function from that. So your citric acid cycle or electron transport chain will actually uh, utilize that to create energy and beat your heart. On your heart, you have the sinoatrial node and the atrioventricular node. And these are nodes of your heart that beat like this. And they beat, whether you think about it, whether you believe in your heart beating, it beats. It's electrical. When you die, no more electrical frequency. When there's no more electrical frequency, you can actually measure this on an EKG or a brain on the electroencephalogram. So I want to show you with the use of this funny little guy. And what this is, is just a simple little five or six dollar thing you can get online. It has a battery on it, and it has a uh, sound device and a light device. So if you can see it, you can actually see it producing light, and it's making a sound. So just like a battery, there's a positive and a negative. It's always going to be that way, whether it's in the human body, or it's on an outlet on the wall, or it's a battery uh, that you put in your device. 
So I'm going to have her hold the positive side of it. So she's holding the positive because as you can see, there's two metal diodes, positive and negative, so it makes a circuit. So today, you are the copper wire. I want you to show you. So I'm, you're holding the positive, I'll hold the negative. There's no connection here. As soon as I touch her, we get connection. Anywhere on her body, we get connection. Touch over this thyroid area, make sense? Pretty cool. So we take this out of here because that's just keeping it looking weirder here in Austin, Texas. So we're gonna get rid of this. The point is to show you that when we touch two spots, we actually get a circuit. So again, I'm touching essentially the positive uh, diode, we'll say, and so hold here for me, touching very little. I can touch different parts of her body and ask if she's getting weakness or not, right? You can ask all types of questions, but what we did before we started this video is actually asked if she had any parts of her body that are weak. So when we touch over her neck, she actually, you feel it a little weaker, right? But we touch over her forehead, not. If I touch over her thyroid, she actually weakens. Now, because applied kinesiology is a tool and only a tool, but I love it, and because I feel I've gotten really good over the years, I really trust it when I feel it in myself. I'm not really doing this for you. I'm using it as another layer on top of the blood work, even before the blood work, that's oftentimes more sensitive because it's bioelectric. Now, it won't tell me what sort of thing you need to take or do directly, but it's another indicator to say, wow, there's something going on here. You need to inspect this because if you're in the office, I'm not gonna run blood work every single time you're in there. That's kind of crazy. So we're gonna touch here, we're gonna touch over her, we're gonna just touch in the clear is what they call it, strong muscle. That means this deltoid is autogenically uh, facilitated, it's firing, good, strong. If I touch over here, she weakens. So what I would do at this point is I would wanna inspect this organ. And I would not make a big stink about it, well, we'll apply kinesiology, we can tell, you know, this and that. I would just say, let's run some blood tests. And sure enough, we'll get the blood tests back and a lot of times you'll find oh my goodness, there's actually a weakness to this organ. So let me show you one other thing. And I'm actually gonna test some different vertebrae in her neck. And because my background is chiropractic, and I'm all about removing interference. If the river isn't flowing well, we don't wanna throw more drugs and more surgeries into the river. Let's just get the leaves that are in the river out of the way. And a lot of times, it's not what we're giving you, uh, it's what we're taking away that actually makes you better. Maybe you're sleeping next to a refrigerator. Maybe you have a really terrible marriage. Maybe you're drinking too much alcohol, you know? If you're taking the wrong type of medications or even natural products, eating the wrong food, Take those out and the river flows. You're just a natural river of life. You're a filter, right? So let's ask her body if there's any vertebrae in her neck that need to be worked with. So strong, right? We touch the body, nothing wrong with her shoulders. Just giving you a really simple general idea. I'm actually gonna touch on the fuse box. This is the electrical box of her body over C2, over C3, over C4. C4 goes weak, feel the difference? Over C5, nothing, over C6. C4 seems to be her weakest, C3, no. So I'm actually gonna adjust this and I can actually ask, is it this side, hold, nope. Is it this side, yes. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing in on that vertebrae, on that circuit breaker and releasing it and sending it more into the direction we don't want it to be. That's how I know I need to work on her left C4. So I'm gonna come around and just do a really gentle adjustment on you, okay, good. So adjusting is just a way of looking at the circuit breakers and finding out where there's a weak issue. And you can, I mean, I can very clearly, this is a wonderful tool because I can very quickly scan people's bodies and tell where I need to go. Um, now, you don't need to believe in muscle testing in order for it to work for you. The practitioner, if they're good and you trust them, that's what you need. If they're not a good muscle tester, don't go to them. They're, I, I would never, I'm very picky myself. So um, you just go through and you feel it. And right now, it's, it is right where I found it on her muscle test, C4. I mean, you can feel it here on the left where there's not motion. And over here, there is. She can totally feel it. So we're just going to do a little gentle adjustment. Wiggle your uh, left foot for me. There. Boom. Just nice and easy. And I'm going to actually come back. I mean, already, see, now, more motion. So with an adjustment, we're just very gently putting it in position. And for people that are squeamish around it, you can use an arthrostem where you just very gently on whatever area of the body, you just tap. 
So you don't have to use a lot of pressure. It doesn't have to be scary. But you get that flow of life running through your nervous system again. You get the foods and the things that are blocking you out. You get the right blood testing done. You get the right hormone evaluation. You can change a life really fast. And that's, that's why I'm really excited about this because I've seen it for decades now. Really, for 20 years because I was working with the doctor that helped me for 10. That's how I learned a lot of this before I even went into school. So we're going to come back. We're going to muscle test, strong in the clear. I'm going to come back and ter- check your circuit breakers, C2. Just checking each vertebrae, C3, C4, C4. Just It's not weak anymore. Anywhere in the neck is really not weak. So what I wanted to show you today was the basics of a muscle test, why we use it, and how it can really empower you to get better quicker. Because if, for say, we were to run this blood work and we saw that there was no, no evidence of her actually having thyroid on there, we wouldn't say, well, the muscle test is silly, you know, what a waste of time. What I would do is I would give her certain foods in her diet or certain um, nutritional support, just some herbs or even homeopathic, which are energetic, they're very gentle, or even a color, right? The color blue represents this area of the body, right? Those simple kinds of concepts can actually strengthen people because different parts of the body, just like the earth, has different energy systems, just like our, our visible spectrum of light with all of the different rainbow colors, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, heart, blue, throat, indigo, violet. This is about combining all different aspects of different types of modalities to get people better faster. And some of them look a little bit more out there. But let me tell you guys, our knowledge on planet Earth, they used to say was doubling every decade. Well, now it's down to five years and some are saying every 12 months, the knowledge is developing. As our knowledge is getting faster and faster, you're going to be pushed to have your awareness develop faster and faster as well. And so therefore our consciousness Our awareness needs to increase. If we try to keep pushing down things that could possibly help someone, right? All the while saying that it's not possible, it doesn't make sense to continue to do that. We're in a different time. And I just, I really don't have an agenda to say that other than I want to inspire you and empower you to be aware of it. So above and beyond that, you can use muscle testing for all types of things. You can use it to test ligaments. You can use it to test bones. I can use it to determine what's going on with her shoulder. We can even utilize it working with the emotional realms, right? And ask different emotional questions. You can use it for all types of things because at the end of the day, it's electrical. And we're essentially saying, saying, hold here, do I get an electron gain when I touch over the thyroid or do I get an electron drain? And here is, she weakens here. So after an adjustment, sometimes people will strengthen, Yesterday we worked on somebody and they strengthened afterwards uh, on the thyroid. You don't. So with you, it would be even more indicated. Like, I think we need to do some support naturally, right? And we'd do the right testing and then we would know, we'd get the results back and say, wow, okay, this vertebrae may be involved, but there may be a need for something else. And that's how some modalities, like you'll hear people say, oh, Fish oil is the most amazing thing. It helped me with my joints and my hands and my anxiety and all these things. And some people say, oh, fish oil is snake oil. But the reality is everybody needs something a little different. So what works for you may not work for me. You know why? Because your biophysiology, your, your, the way you are developed and your neurochemistry is very different than mine, you know? We're both human, right? You're female, I'm male. But the way my body functions differs very differently than a five-year-old in India, okay? Our biochemistry and how our bodies respond because of exposures and stuff. So to treat every single person on the planet with the same type of approach, which is a, you know, just a recipe, right? You have this, then we give you that, you know? You have this issue, then you do that. Well, if you look around at the system, that's around us, uh, you can see that a lot of people are struggling and they're not getting the results. So for you out there that if you've been and you're trying to get results and you can't get to the bottom of it, looking at an applied kinesiologist, a functional medicine doctor, a functional neurologist, or somebody even practices neuro-emotional technique working with the emotion, 
that is where you're putting all, the, you're combining the Western world, you're combining the Eastern kind of concepts, and you're combining nutrition and just pure, simple logic of thinking, um, you know, we, we really get results. So hopefully that's inspiring today, showing you how we can put it together. Uh, and, uh, you know, check out some other videos out there online. I'm sure there's a lot out there. But know that there's stuff, when you start thinking outside of the box, that can bring you a lot of greater benefit faster. And that's what this is all about. Thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. We're going to be going over other types of different interesting things that will help you empower and take your life back. And I look forward to seeing you then.